Hello there. I wanted to take a look at a ball head that I just received for one of my tripods. Uh, this is not really a review. Um, it's more of a look at the product. Uh, this is was not given to me. I, I, I'm not an affiliate or whatever the heck it's called where manufacturers call you up and you know give you things so that you'll review them. Uh, so this is purchased because I'm familiar with this company. I've used a lot of their stuff and none of it's ever disappointed me. So I have a Neewer tripod with a ball head on it that I use as my main tripod. They're very inexpensive for uh, what they are and they work really well. And so uh, I have an old Velbon tripod. I have two of them. They one of them cost five bucks, and one of them cost six bucks. One, of, you know, at uh, Salvation Army and another thrift store, semi-local to here. And they they were professional grade tripods in the 50s and 60s and 70s. Uh, the newer stuff that says Velbon on it is the same as the plastic and aluminum consumer tripods that you buy now that like you get one at Walmart for 30 bucks or something like that the junk so stay away from anything that says veil bond that's new but these tripods are good tripods the only problem is one of the heads is defective now they have the old pan and tilt head uh, heads and I don't like them I prefer a ball head so we're going to replace that head with this head and uh, I previously opened this but I packaged it back up so that you would could kind of get the uh, feel for uh, when the product comes to you so this is the newer professional it says and this is advertised in uh, on Amazon that's where I got it so let's open first of all You see all that? I don't know if you can see it or not, depending on the light. That's a desiccant pack. It busted in this container during shipping somehow. Nothing wrong with the tripod though. But it comes with the tripod head. If I call it a tripod instead of a tripod head, I understand that I'm not mean to. I'm also not a professional reviewer and that's what not what this is meant to be. But it comes like this. It's got knee where it's got a like a degree of angle for when you turn this thing. It's got like a little scale on it. If I was doing really precise calculations or something, maybe, but I'm just trying to turn the thing and point it toward a bird or a squirrel or or a tree or a creek or whatever it is that I decide to take a picture of so that's not a big deal but it's on there it's a fluid field I believe head uh, it has an Arca Swiss plate, Swiss plate attached quick release this goes on the bottom of your camera and then when you want to put it in the like that so uh, this is a little bit different from the other one I have uh, it's a bit wider and it has these screws here for some reason and looks like they lock into that so maybe it's a feature that it's supposed to kind of help you help the thing not uh, move back and forth I, I think yeah see Supposedly it's not going to let it come out, but I think that it could drop quite easily, so huh. I wouldn't rely on any of that anyway. It doesn't matter whether it even worked or not. You know, I'm going to take the camera off the head or I'm not, and when I do, I'm going to do it pur purposefully and carefully because I need my equipment. So, but it has your quick release arc, Swiss type plate. 
has a knob here this controls how it turns here you can lock that down so that it doesn't move most um, ball heads that I've seen have one attachment here and this will but I'm going to completely unloosen this if I tighten that down it locks the head so that it doesn't move and if I loosen it then I can turn the head however I want to and uh, be fine uh, the instructions in it are very sparse and it only it names one of this one of these and I believe it names this one as like the lockdown and this as a tensioner so my guess would be that they intend for you to use this to kind of tension down the ball head a bit so that when you're shooting freely like on a monopod or a tripod where you need the thing to move you can have a bit of tension on the head so that it doesn't flop around too freely and, hit, and it helps you to steady your aim or steady the camera but so you would lock it down with this one if you wanted it not to move and if you needed it to move you would lightly tension it with this to your preference what I would use it for is if I was shooting static subjects like a landscape I would lock them both flipping down as tight as I could get them or, or well not as tight you don't have to crank the living daylight but I would lock both of them down and that sucker would not move one thing that I like about this that's absent on the knobs on the tripod that I use is my main tripod is if you look along here the adjustment knobs are wrapped in like a, a, pla uh, a rubber or neoprene uh, they got rubber or neoprene rings here. That just feels really good in the hand. Uh, the uh, the knobs and stuff moves smoothly, smoothly. Although this one seems to have a little bit of grit in it, the head moves freely. Uh, for the price that I paid, it's a solid metal tripod. The only thing plastic on. Well, these are metal too. Yep. These knobs are metal with uh, what I did was knock that against my teeth that lets me know that's metal and these are metal these knobs are metal this is metal everything that I can find is metal the only thing that might not be metal no that's metal too yeah this is metal everything's metal except like the little levels in it so this is a well-built uh, tripod made of good materials I think that it will serve me for a long time now on the bottom of it some of them come with this and some of them don't this has a little adapter in it so that that is one and that's uh one quarter 20 thread okay if I took that out I would end up with a a hole in here that's three eighths of sixteen most of the standard tripods that you buy now are 3 8 16 the, the attachment where you attach the head onto them okay but some of the old ones like the valve bond that i'm going to put this on and um most of the monopods are one quarter 20 thread and so if you did not if it did not come with this adapter some of the reviews said it came with some of the reviews said it didn't so uh, it's probably what luck of the draw because it's a chinese uh, lower cost product but the adapters are cheap you can get them on eBay for like two three five dollars something like you can get like five of them for six bucks you know. uh, so you might want to be aware of that I've got adapters at the same time and I don't need them because this has already got it but as a photographer who's always getting finding used equipment and stuff like that trying to do the best I can with what I've got it's good to have them so I have these if I need them but that's just something that I wanted to point out okay this is the the Neewer professional ball head now, now let's pop it onto a tripod all right this is the old Velbon this is a VE3 uh, I did a video review of the VS3 
three years on this channel on my amateur photography page. And they come with one of the, uh, the old style pan and tilt heads, okay, which is great for video work. The BS3 that I have, I will be leaving the head, the pan and tilt head, head on it because I will be, I use that for video, for vlogging and things like that. When I go to do my um, photography videos, vlogs where I go out and shoot and stuff like that, which I haven't done in a long time. Uh, but I need to get back to that. But when I go to do that, uh, I use that VS3 to put the vlogging camera on. And it's a fantastic sturdy tripod. It's not one of these chintzy little thin uh, lightweight tripods. It stays firmly on the ground and uh, the wind doesn't bother it and yada yada yada. Okay, so fantastic tripod for that, and I need a vlogging tripod that that works for one as well. This tripod head, first of all, I don't I don't like these heads because when you put the camera on it and you lean forward to look through the viewfinder, because I don't use the back of the screen. Okay, you'll see that in my videos sometime because I want to kind of bring you into the process of exposing and c composing an image and so I'll put it on the back of the screen where you can see it but I promise you I composed that image through an optical viewfinder before I ever turned that back screen on and started showing you what was going on and when you do that if you look you got this arm here and it goes like right into your chest the one that is on the VS3 I think is even like a couple of inches longer and it just it's like uh, uh. <laughs> and so I don't pr I, I like the ball head for uh, photography for the wildlife photography that I, that I do and plus the ball head if I can let me unlock it turns freely anywhere I want it to okay so I'd much prefer that so now what we're going to do is if you've never done this before it's really easy to do we're going to tighten this tripod down, tighten, this loosens the head so that you can turn it this way. All it is is a, is a friction, and as I tighten that up, this gap will close imperceptibly, and the tripod won't move. But in order to get this head off, you want to tighten that down and turn like that. Now, if you got a cheap, one of those cheap, commode, or, um, Consumer tripods, like what I talked about, Velbon has gone to being, most of them, the heads don't remove. But now you have that thread, if you look, that's the same size thread as is in here and is in the bottom of your camera so that you can mount it. And all I'm going to do, since I have that adapter ring in there, I don't have to worry, it's the right size. I'm going to set it on here, I'm going to turn it backwards once or a little bit so that it doesn't or at least I attempt to make it where it doesn't strip the head let me tighten that down can and we're gonna tighten that ball head and there we go and that's all there is to it and uh, then you take, you put your plate on the bottom of the camera. There it is. And then I can do whatever I need to do in order to use the camera. So, and we take that off. And actually, this is not the camera that's going on. So, I'm going to put this head back. Or this Arca Swiss type adapter plate. I need to purchase a couple more of these. I could probably get a couple more. These were like six bucks, ten bucks. But I need to purchase a couple more of them for some other cameras that I have. But I mean.
this is there's not a plastic any kind of plastic on this tripod except for the control knob and that it, it's the old school type almost a bakelite plastic real tough and rugged just good stuff all around and now the tripod is adapted for my use this will be a great backup tripod to my other tripod my main tripod this is a bit heavier but it'll do everything I needed to do and uh, it costs like five dollars this tripod cost five dollars and then the head and that was it and I could I did didn't spend very much at all on this head but cut out but I could have spent a, a couple hundred dollars on this head if I would wanted to and it would have been worth it because the tripod is a high quality made in the United States tripod which are hard to find nowadays so all right thanks for watching that's the Neewer professional tripod ball head and how to install it on a tripod thank you appreciate you bless you and I'll talk to you later